Hi, I'm Matt Arrow, Research Program Manager of Wood Products at the Natural Resources Research Institute at the University of Minnesota Duluth. For the last year, we've been designing, developing, and installing this boardwalk from thermally modified tamarack at the Sac Simbog. This project was funded by a grant from the U.S. Forest Service Wood Innovations Grant Program. The purpose is to demonstrate a value-added use for thermally modified tamarack, which is a wood species that's threatened by the eastern larch beetle. This boardwalk is manufactured from thermally modified tamarack. It's about 200 feet long and allows Sac Sim bog visitors to get closer to nature in this fragile environment. Tamarack isn't used very much in Minnesota. About 13,000 cords are harvested per year, while the maximum sustainable harvest level is about 115,000 cords per year. Most of the tamarack is used for paper, biochemicals, and industrial lumber. With this boardwalk, we're demonstrating how thermally modified tamarack can be used in outdoor applications. Typically, when wood gets wet, it can support fungal growth, which can lead to rot and decay. Thermal modification, a heat treatment process, reduces the hemicellulose content of the wood. This reduces the ability of water molecules to bind to the wood, and it also reduces the food source for fungi. Thermal modification turns the wood a rich brown color, which can be desirable for certain markets, such as wood flooring and other architectural elements. Thermally modified wood markets are growing in the U.S. There is growth in the exterior siding and exterior decking markets, as well as in the outdoor furniture markets. There's also growing interest in using thermally modified wood for wood windows and wood doors. NRRI has the unique technical capabilities to help prototype and test a range of thermally modified wood products from underutilized species in Minnesota. We're really excited to work with our partners to advance this technology in Minnesota and beyond.